is Laura Hicks and I'm the media technician at the ASCII Student Life Center at the Student Life Cinema. And uh, it's an extremely unique and special movie theater because we still have the capability to show 35 millimeter film print and we're one of only about 10 in all of Florida. So when we get a movie on 35 millimeter film print, it comes on six to eight different reels and you have to splice together all the reels onto one platter and splicing just means like taping together the end of one reel to the beginning of the next one. So you make one gigantically long reel of film and you uh, thread it through all across the projection booth and you put it through the film head or the projector head and you start it up and it just pulls it through and it's how you watch a whole film. It's, I don't know, it's all, you know, printed on there, nothing's digital. Um, at first, like a lot of people, I was mistrusting of digital because um, hearing about how computers could get wiped out by a magnet or suppose there was, you know, a giant impact flash from the sun and all the computers on the earth got wiped out, I would still want to have my film reels and tapes hidden away somewhere. I think that historically it's it's a more real element to see it on 35 millimeter in, in today's films or 16 but really 35. Uh, when they first came out with digital cameras and they were sh like television shows were shot on a digital camera and you could tell that it was digital. It was so sharp that I didn't like the sharpness of it. It just made me not want to watch it. I think a, a little bit of scratching um, in the film gives a reality to it that you're watching 35 millimeter. It is distracting though if there's like a long scratch where a print's really been damaged. That That's where in a way showing something digitally is better because it that can pull people out of the story if you have a bad print. If, if it's a pristine print, it's the best picture in the world to see on the big screen. Uh, it's an experience, and that's part of what we want to have at the SLC for people who, in most cases in Florida, there's not a lot of options for people to see things on 35 millimeter print because it's pretty much almost extinct. Film prints are, in themselves, art history, and they are film history. So having a 35 millimeter print of Dr. Strangelove or Raiders of the Lost Ark is something that is truly unique and it's not something that can be replicated on a hard drive. Would you say that film is like magic? Yes, it's definitely magic. Uh, everyone should go see a, a film print if possible. Like I said, it's becoming rare, but it's also gaining more popularity because it, it's a dying art form, but I think it's getting rejuvenated, so it's a very, very special magical occasion. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it is like magic, especially to come to the, the theater and see it on the big screen, and it was amazing to imagine that what we showed and shot on 16 millimeter could fill such a large screen. Even though it has its bumps and its, uh, you know, poor splicing or occasional burn marks. <laughs> um, that's all just like a part of the experience of preserving something that is in itself a unique format you can't just see by popping in a DVD.